what's up guys welcome back to the channel so today we got a little project that we need to do on the boat and then i got an unboxing for you guys but before we do that i have got to do this because it is fun every single time that i do it you know ever since spring rolls around this turkey has been doing this because well he's a tom and he's looking for some turkey sex and that is this right here <laughs> I love it every single time. It is just so freaking great. What's funny is you can slam a car door, you can yell, let's say, hey. It doesn't matter what you do. He, he is going to gobble every single time that you make any loud noise whatsoever. It's just freaking hilarious and I love it. And he's a really cool pet. We also have two chickens that I get eggs from every day, which is also cool. So I got one thing that'll gobble at me and I got two things that'll give me food. I guess the other thing could give me food as well. I don't think I'll kill him though. I, I like him too much. One more time for me. Hey! Love it. All right, so that's enough turkey talk, even though the turkey will probably talk to us throughout the whole entire video because all a car has to do is drive by and he gobbles at it. But regardless, I believe that I have forgot how to do unboxings. And the reason I say that is because I went ahead and opened up the box of stuff that we're actually going to unbox today and didn't do that on camera. But there was a good reason for that. The reason for that is this pile of stuff right here. This is actually a pile of stuff that I cannot show you yet. These are all unreleased baits from Berkeley, hence the blur that's probably gonna be on the screen right about here. These are all things that I cannot show you yet. They are unreleased baits that I am very, very excited about. This one right here in particular is the one that I'm most excited about for you guys to get your hands on. I've already had my hands on it. I've already went out and fished it. I already caught a bunch of fish on it. I continue to catch a bunch of fish on it. I actually won a tournament on it the other day and I am just very excited for you guys to get this thing into your hands when it finally comes out. Now I'll give you a little bit of a sneaky, sneaky little snip bit that if you watch to the end of this video, I'll actually leave a link for another video for you guys to go check out that thing in action. So make sure you watch to the very end of this video for you guys us to see one of those sneaky baits in action on the water but without further ado let's get into this box of stuff and let's see what we got so first thing on top here abu garcia zeta reel now these zetas are really really cool for you guys that have never seen one they are the matte green reels that abu garcia offers and when these things came out they were just such a big hit because of the color scheme on those bad boys i mean just look at it looks like a stealth bomber or something like that i love matte green anything i actually saw a sequoia the, that color the other day and like just fell in love with it because i love matte green i love matte anything and so that matte green is really really cool but the seven gear ratio i've got a bunch of these already in the box i got one for my jerk bait i got one for my frog i've got a couple six gear ratios for swim jigs and now i've got me another seven gear ratio to throw on a new fenwick flipping stick that i'm going to be getting here before too long and so i'll throw that thing on there to actually probably throw the next bait that we're going to get into on and toss around and really start to figure out but those are really awesome reels if you have not checked one out there'll be links down below for really everything that i want to talk about in today's video but i'll make sure and link the reel as well so you guys can go check it out go click that link use that link if you want to buy any of the products that i talk about so the next thing that i got in here is a whole dad gym load of agent ease and man i am super excited about this bait super excited to learn it super excited to really figure out what it's all about because when i was out fishing with edwin in oklahoma he had a bunch of these he was super excited about them this is actually a bait that he helped to design hence the name agent e the e stands for edwin or evers or Edwin Evers. I'm not really sure which one it stands for, but this is a bait that he helped to design and I'm very, very excited about it. Now, I know it looks like a little swim bait because, well, it is a little swim bait, but this thing actually isn't designed to be fished like a swim bait. It is designed to be fished like a jig. And I think that's the thing I'm most excited about with this bait is the fact that I'm gonna be able to show the fish a profile and a shape and an action that they almost never see in a jig and almost never see this heavy in the smaller profile. So that little thing right there is three quarters of an ounce. This thing comes in half, three quarter, in another size i think it comes in an ounce as well and so what's going to be really really cool is current fishing you know my fish in the current love a big heavy jig dropped right in front of their face you know three quarter to an ounce well i think this thing is going to be awesome in a lot of those same scenarios but showing them that small little swim bait profile for you guys that have never seen one of these things outside of the package really really cool little bait it's got some kind of distinct features that separates it from the competition we will say number one being that weed guard so this thing actually has a fluorocarbon weed guard on it that weed guard is going to push out of the way obviously to get a hook in those fish but instead of having that molded plastic up around there that splits apart you've got that 
that fluorocarbon weed guard that I believe is going to promote a better hookup ratio. I'm not entirely sure yet because I've not got to use it yet. Again, I'm very excited about using this thing and figuring it out. But with the Dark Sleeper, because we'll just go ahead and say what it is because what's it matter? With the Dark Sleeper, I played around with it and one big thing that I kept doing was losing fish because of that molded weed guard up around that hook would get in the way. And so I'm excited to have this same profile because I got a lot of bites on that bait but the thing was is that molded weed guard just kept me from actually getting those fish hooked and the worst experience that i had with it was up north with mr benjamin nowak i missed a couple freaking giant fish and i just never picked that thing back up again and messed with it so i'm excited about that another cool little thing that it has that you might not be able to see is on the chin of that bait there's a little exposed piece of plastic and that exposed piece of plastic actually has a little bit of rattle in it and so as this thing is bumping across the bottom that rattle is going to be rattling inside of there and then these things are infused with power bait so it doesn't smell just like straight soft plastics you actually got the infusion of power bait into these things so not only do you get a few what i would consider upgrades in the design of the bait and the design of baits like this but you also get scent in there and which i'm a huge believer in power bait now and so i think that is huge but yeah so we got a bunch of different ones this is chartreuse shad we got some goby colors which to me looks like a little crappie gizzard shad bluegill and we've got brown crawl and perch now Perch, guys, perch. There are a lot of perch in the Tennessee River system, so do not be afraid to throw a perch color. A lot of people think perch, they think up north, and they think up north exclusively, and that's just not the truth. Those perch live all throughout the Tennessee River system, and if you throw something that looks like perch, I can promise you, you are going to get a bite. So the next thing that I've got down here is a resupply on some little generals. For you guys that know me, you know I love a general, which is Berkeley's full-size stick bait. Well, this is the little general, which is a max scent Ned Rig off that Berkeley has. If you guys have not checked out Maxent products yet, go down, hit the link in the description, check out some Maxent products because these things really are a game changer. For me especially, it was crazy when I started playing around with Maxent, which I started playing around with Maxent long before I started working with Berkeley. I was actually still working with Lou Strike King when I was playing around with Maxent because I won a tournament on it. I won a kayak tournament on it, and ever since then, I had just always had some Maxent in the boat because of the technology fascinating me and I know that that max scent technology was what was actually driving those fish to bite the bait that I was throwing which is crazy and so got a little restock on some little generals so this one is watermelon candy this is actually one of my favorite colors to throw around in creature hog we have got rusty crawl which is a fantastic color this time of year I dye the tail in a little bit of methylate little bit of orange dye and man it just brings that thing to life really looks like a crawdad crawling around on the bottom and then we also have gobiashi which again gobies we don't have them here but that is just an excellent looking color looks like a little crawdad especially in the highland reservoirs around me something i've noticed is depending on which one you're on you know sometimes you get orange crawls sometimes you get these like blue green ones but a lot of the highland reservoirs around me when bass start spitting up crawdads they look like that right there this time of year and i think it has something to do with spring coming and molting and all that they turn that color but i get a ton of bites on that pick up with some of those and throw them around the next thing in here is something that i'm very excited to share with you guys as well and that is the new berkeley jig lineup now it is hard to improve upon a jig it really is you know everybody has got jigs in the lineup every business makes jigs and all jigs are essentially the same except for a few designs and head designs and hook designs and stuff like that but at its basic core lead head hook weed guard skirt and you know obviously you look at this berkeley jig and you think well alex you've done nothing different there than a lead head weed guard hook and skirt but what is really cool about these jigs and for me is going to be something i think is a huge game changer the jig fishing game for me at least is they have learned how to infuse the power bait scent into the skirt of these jigs which is absolutely freaking insane and i actually got to test these jigs out before they came out uh, this past summer with mr benjamin nowak up north we were doing the stunner stuff doing a bunch of content around the stunner and then they also sent us these jigs and swore us to secrecy before these things come out but these things have scent infused into the skirt and it is freaking crazy i think the more and more pressure that these fish get and the more and more baits that they see and the more and more people get live scope and your live scope and fish and stuff like that it's going to get harder to catch them and you're going to have to have every advantage including that scent technology in your baits to actually get those fish 
to eat. And there's a lot of people that don't believe in that. And I used to be one of those people, but the more that I talk to people that are a hell of a lot smarter than I am, biologists and ecologists and you know marine biologists and all these different people who study fish, study bass, study bass behavior, including the people at Berkeley who are scientists making these baits and then working with pros and guys to help design these baits. They all talk about the importance of scent and that how scent is often like the last key component that a bass needs to actually commit to something and to eat it. And so then figuring out how to add scent into that skirt, completely eliminating what is the smell of that silicone skirt and infusing it with power bait and just adding that extra layer of scent into these baits is pretty freaking amazing and something I'm jacked up about. And really, I mean, I cannot tell you how I'm excited that I am to like go throw the swim jig around with a power bait or a max scent trailer on the back with that power bait infused skirt. Just have all of that scent going on and really see what these things can do. And I've already been playing around with them a whole, whole bunch, flipping them, flipped them up north, been flipping them down here, been getting a whole lot of bites. And it's just, it's pretty crazy to see how well that power bait infused technology actually works versus your normal stuff. And one of the baits over there, one of those secret ones that I'm gonna show you at the end of this video, if you'll stick around, actually comes with a power bait infused something as well. So you have to check that out. But no, let's check these jigs out. They got a bunch of different jig designs. They got a flipping jig, a skipping jig, a dragon jig, which is like your football style jig or a football jig. And then they have a swim jig as well. So here is one of the football jigs. You guys know me, I'm not a big dragger. I definitely will drag this thing around on some of these Highland Reservoirs as we get later on into the spring. There's a really good Carolina rig slash football jig bot that I can get on, so I'm excited to mess around with that one. We've also got the finesse jig here. This is one I actually don't have yet, and I actually got it sent a bunch of these so I can mess around with them. And then obviously we've got the swim jig as well. And what's really cool is each one of these jigs, they didn't just put a random hook into it. They custom built the Fusion 19 hook to go in every single one of these jigs. Worked with guys like Gary Klein, really designed jigs that made sense. You know, had good flexible weed guards and stuff like that. And that's one thing about this swim jig that I am the most excited about. You guys can probably see in there that has a very, very thin weed guard and that is so super important for a swim jig and promoting a good hookup ratio is having that thinner than average weed guard. And that's something that I always looked for in a swim jig was that good flexible weed guard so that when that fish come up behind and actually ate it that you were able to just freaking jack their face straight up. But that thing comes with a 4 aught Fusion 19 hook which I'm really really jacked up about. Another thing that I want to show you guys is actually the bait keeper on these hooks. That was something else that I was super impressed with and from my experience playing with it already the little that I fished it up in Michigan and the things that I did with it there. As you guys can see there it has got a really pronounced bait keeper and that bait keeper is kind of like what you would see on a straight shake flipping hook. Once you get the head of that trailer up onto that hook, it is really, really hard for that trailer to actually come down. And outside of a bass ripping it off there, you ripping it off there, there's going to be little chance that the trailer is actually going to come off, which I really, really like. And then you guys can actually get a better look at that Fusion 19 hook as well. Just really awesome stout hook. You're going to be able to hit these fish hard and not have to worry about it. And then as far as the smell of the skirt. The first time I smelled it, the best way that I can describe it is, is it's not power bait like you know power bait. You know, a lot of people, you got like your power bait baits, you know, come in the yellow packaging, these, these baits right here, yellow packaging. They have that distinct power bait smell and everybody knows power bait. And then now you have Max Scent, which everybody knows Max Scent. This power bait formula smells like a nasty gizzard shad. And I don't know if you guys have ever messed around with gizzard shad. Um, when I go live bait fishing with my buddy Caleb, we use those gizzard shad and they have like this oil all over them and they just stink. I mean, it is a kind of just pungent fishy stink that you cannot imagine. And that's exactly what these skirts smell like, which is absolutely insane. And so just really, really cool jig design. They have got a bunch of cool colors. They've got a bunch of different jigs in the lineup. They have got a bunch of stuff to fill everybody's needs within the jig fishing niche. And they really blew the doors off of the jig design and jig market and really took something that is super hard to be unique with and turned it into something that is uniquely Berkeley. But yeah, guys, that is, uh, that's what I got. Got a bunch of new Berkeley products, some new unreleased Berkeley products that you guys will be seeing in some future videos. But just super excited to kind of figure out where everything is gonna be fitting into my arsenal for the rest of the year. But I promised you guys a sneaky, sneaky video. I'm gonna have that video popping up right now 
click that link, go check that video out. And as always, you guys are sweet and thank you for watching.